first of all, how many are less than like three months here? Right. This training is crazy right here, you guys. Okay? When I was a story with NFL, we didn't, we didn't have this kind of training. All these people that spoke before me, I hope you're all taking great notes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to help you or not. Hopefully I will. <laughs> but I was making notes on this stuff. This is just a great refresher. I can't thank Paige and Chantel for putting this all together. And, uh, and Dom for sure. Let's give them the big hand right now. <laughs> so real quick before I get into the, uh, the in-home is, yeah, I came here with all kinds of jaded past. I worked in uh, personal production, I worked for a big corporation, an uh, executive at a company, blah, 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 all sort of stuff. It was just, then I came to a company prior to FFL, and that was a bit of a mistake, but we all learn, learn our mistakes. And then I talked to Paige one day, and uh, she recruited me in, and I was a little friends yeah, I don't pass, I don't trust people, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I fought the system the entire time. <clears throat> Bad mistake. Do not do that, okay? Whatever Dom or your best buddy or Paige or Chantel or whatever, whatever they tell you to do, whatever you see in training podcasts that's already from a proven producer that's doing big bucks, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 a month, whatever it is, listen and do what they tell you. Dude, the wheel is here. There's no reinventing the wheel, okay? The short story is that don't take so long to train, and don't take so long to get on the wheel. I mean, the janitor, part time, just kill it. And raise your family. And flexible. I mean, it's awesome, right? Again, great presentation. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, uh, mortgage protection. And I was doing, when I first started, I was doing final expense and instance and new internets, and they're all very, still very good. You have access to them like that on CRM. You can use that CRM to help you as a database too. You've got to go in and learn how to use that. So when you do sell something, you got to go in and I don't even know what's called anymore. I'll suppress the lead, is that it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, uh, my wife is my administrator. She's done an excellent job by doing the back room stuff. And now she just orders leads for me and does a whole bunch of other stuff. So this way, I'm on the phone, I'm in the phone. Those are the two things that I do that make money for my family and help all those other families. Don't do the little menial stuff. I'll check around at 10 of 8 to get your list ready to die. You gotta have ready that before. Structure is huge. You gotta be like prepared, put your week together, fill your week up, commit to the dial day, and have at it. It's really not that hard. It's hard work, yes, it takes time, but it's not like you're you know, building the house in the Sahara Desert killing yourself with your hand tools, right? We get on the phone, excuse me, we buy the leads, we get on the phone, we talk, we listen to what Chris Michaels just told us what to say, and we go see him. Okay, so now you're in the house. <clears throat> and with age mortgage protection leads, is anybody doing any of them now? I tried, but I really sucked at it. Yeah. it well, you're, I sucked at it too in the beginning. I got news for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, nobody else? Nobody else is buying it. How are you doing, sir? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not, it's not going to happen like that. Yeah. You got okay. to get the right. The right you do. Yeah. And it all starts the same thing on phone. Yep. So they're 250 a piece, right? I never buy less than 100 per dial session. It's 250 bucks. Okay? So I did that last Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, I ran. What did I write? 6,700 bucks. Whoa. Dang. That doesn't suck. Does it? <laughs> it's going to happen too. It's, very, it's not that hard. Okay? So I'm like, wow. Am I doing buying eleven dollars at least for? <laughs> well, it's different. It's definitely different. First of all, you get a hundred of them. You're going to get hung up on them. You're going to have wrong numbers. You're going to have people say, "Bought it, click, call them back." All right? Then you're going to have people that are saying, "Hey, you know, yeah." 
and the same way, like who goes through the, you know, I got 9.30, I got 9.45, it's gonna take 20 to 30 minutes for me to schedule with you, get all the information to you, and then I'm out of here. Great, go, see the door, knock on the door, husband and wife are there, yeah. you're setting everything up, running to the table, the dining room table, you're gonna sit in your, where you wanna sit, husband and wife are gonna sit facing each other, and you start going through your process. And you look at the lead, and you're like, holy smoly, this lead's four years old. <laughs> well, guess what? He just refied last week. Okay? You didn't know that. They didn't tell you that. Right? They just bought another house. You don't know that. Okay? It's crazy what happens when you get inside the house. Now, I will tell you, it's not all rainbows and unicorns. Okay? Sometimes you get in the house and it's like, oh, you're not the homeowner insurance guy? <laughs> No. <laughs> I am not. But you know what? Let me just show you why I got. It only gonna take 15 minutes. And you go in and you sit down and they say, well, we bought this and we bought that. And they go drag out their insurance policies and it's a 10 year term that expired last year. And they still got 20 years left on their mortgage. Or they just refied last week. You won't believe what goes on inside the house. That's why you get good on the phone and you get in. Okay? The rest all kind of comes together. Most importantly, getting into the house, stating what you're going to do. Okay? Um, I'm here to talk about, I'm going to ask you some questions about your health, about your finances, specifically about your mortgage. And then, We've got a number of different companies that we represent. So we're gonna find a plan that's gonna be tailored right toward you and your wife. And then we're gonna see what you qualify for. And at that point, we're gonna go forward and make an application to make sure the company will approve you. And when you do set the stage like that, because I was not doing that to begin with. It doesn't work. Okay, that's already a close that you've just made. You've already got in their head that, wow, Guy find something for me, and I like it. It's going to protect my family and my wife and my mortgage, and it fits within my budget. I got to hear him out, right? So he's already engaged with you. Of course, and husband and wife are engaged with you. So, and you've heard some of this stuff before the people that spoke before me. But <clears throat> I guess the only thing is that I can say is the dialing part is a little tough. Like, uh, you know, yeah, this is Andrew and Paul from the Mortgage Protection Center. I uh, just following up here with a request that you sent in. That was quite a while ago. And uh, the last name's Smith. Yeah. And it just to go through everything. She got date of birth on there and stuff like that. And what's this about? Well, it's about mortgage protection on your house. Yeah, wow. Well, I, I don't remember filling that out. Well, I understand, you know, we are a little behind. You know, we're jammed up with COVID and we're just trying to catch up. Sometimes they say, oh, okay. And they want to, now you're back to go into, you know, 9.30 or 9.45, right? Just like that. It's not that hard. You're still staying on the same script, <clears throat> getting them engaged. You're not hiding, that's not mortgage protection. We're not hiding that at all. We're clear. We want to protect your family, we want to protect your children, we want to make sure if anything happens to you, where you get sick with like something crazy like cancer or a heart attack or something like that, or you get totally disabled, they're going to pay your mortgage off. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's great. And then you do the tie downs with the mailbox and the driveway and the paper and all that fun stuff. <clears throat> I don't want to repeat everything. But I'm taking $250 investment and I made $6,700. By the way, that wasn't the first week I did that. I spent two fifty dollars on Monday. Rose, this was a couple weeks ago. It was like the third week I did it. And I spent another two fifty dollars on Thursday. And I did eleven dollars Okay? I mean, it's not time. Listen, if I've sat in your seat, and I've been to other meetings when I first joined FFL, and I was sitting there thinking, oh gosh, another 
I'm always tired of hearing everybody's success story. I want my own, <laughs> right? I want my own success story. So come here and do what they tell you, okay? Don't just buy one type of lead. Don't be afraid of mortgage protection. They don't bite, okay? Because I know people are saying, well, I'm finally spent, I'm finally spent, I can't, I can't do that. This, here's the difference in the script. Hi, this is Andrew Moore. I'm getting back to you because you made a request for the state regulated life insurance plans. I'm going to be out your way on Tuesday between 9.30 and 10.15. Just like to come by and share this information with you. It's take about 20 minutes. Hi, this is Andrew Moore. I'm calling from the Mortgage Protection Department here in York County. Yeah, you sent a request for mortgage protection information. I'm going to be in your area next week. I just need 15 or 20 minutes. How's 9.15 or 9.45? What is the difference? Can you tell me? I want to change four words. Go ahead. So you say that even if, because the ones that I bought, they were like 10 years old. You I know. You say the same thing. Same thing? Really? Oh, absolutely. What am I going to do? All right. Here's, put it up. Let's try this. <laughs> Hi, this is Andrew Moore. Yeah, you called us back in 2012. <laughs> I'm just getting back to you now. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to fly. Right. Right. And by the way, what I, got, I got leads on here. There's no dates on them. There's no dates on them. I, look here. Look right here. Uh, I don't see. What's up? Here we go. Right here. There's not a date on here. I have no idea when they called. I have no idea when they sent this in. But there's their name, there's their date of birth, and there's the address. Now, sometimes you get on the phone, I haven't lived there in seven years. Where are you living now? <laughs> you got a mortgage? I'm the mortgage protection guy. All I want to do is take 15 or 20 minutes of your time. Come by and share the information with you. That's it. Okay? That's all. What's the difference? Now, the difference is when you get into all of it. Obviously, the presentation for mortgage protection versus final expense is two different animals. Wouldn't everybody agree with that? Okay? But. <clears throat> Final expense. Don't want to be a burden to the family. Want to make sure the fuel is taken care of, right? What are you doing on mortgage protection? Don't want to be a burden to the family. You're the main breadwinner. I want to make sure he gets paid so the wife can stay in the house. Okay? It's just a little bit of tweaking. Because I made it a little hard too. I, I was like, a little mortgage protection one. But it really is not. Listen to a couple podcasts. The best one, without a doubt, Chantel. Oh my gosh. Her presentation is amazing because it's the same thing all the time. It's like this. So that's why she's so good at it. She can handle all the objections because she's on the track. She doesn't let she doesn't let get derailed off the track. She stays on the track, she does what she needs to do, and just keeps on going. And the other great thing about, about mortgage protection. <laughs> okay, so I just, you know, I made the transition and I, I think you're also dealing with people that have mortgages. You understand? So they got a good job, they've got credit, they got approved by the bank. Sometimes you go on final expense and you're in a little apartment. And that person, you know, could be just getting down by, which is fine. They need the insurance more than anybody, trust me, without a doubt. And it's a great market. But when you're in the mortgage protection, you're dealing with maybe both of them are working, so they're making more money, they gotta pay the bills, they got kids at school, they got this, they got a lot more responsibilities. 